So just a quick overview of what we're doing. This is the container here. We'll have a bit of water here, some holes drilled in to let air in, a grid system up here to hold the ice, and then the fan at the very top bringing the air through. Let's get the wire out and just a quick test to see if it works. The next thing I'm going to do is hook up an on off switch. Now let's just test the switch. You don't need a switch, but it saves you from disconnecting the battery when you want to turn it off. Now you're going to mark out a hole for the fan. Now when we cut the hole, it needs to be slightly smaller than the fan, or it will fall through. So this is the top side of the lid. So we've got a glue on the fan. So we need to know which way the air is flowing. So obviously it flows this way. So we need to set it like this. So what I'd recommend is using a glue gun if you can, or any other adhesive. Just lightly glue around the edges. Don't get any on the fan, of course. And let's set. So that's it sealed on. Now I'm going to have to drill some holes about an inch from the bottom to let the air in to cool it. Obviously we want some room for the water that sits at the bottom. So there we are, some holes at the bottom. Just try to be gentle and not split the plastic container or whatever container you're using. Now we'll need some very small holes about halfway up so we can put the mesh in that supports the ice. There you see all the little holes in. Now we just got to mesh in some wire. There you go, the mesh for the ice is all done. Just use a bit of tape to secure the ends. Now you're all finished. Ready to put in the water and ice. You could glue the battery to the side if you wanted to in the switch, but it's up to you. Add some water at the bottom. Get your ice. Put your lid on, and turn it on, nice and cold.